In this tutorial, I want to take a look at using Easy Animator Pro with Explandio. I want to start with a fairly real world example. So I'm in here in Easy Vector Editor. I'm using our mobile UI pack and I've created a little mobile graphic here. And the idea that I had here is it's a segment of a video where I want to say, hey, sign up for our list and we'll give you a free access to our webinar and tell you all kinds of amazing stuff. But you know, so something like that. So what I've done is I've just dragged and dropped these uh, elements onto the screen and I'm ready to create an SWF file, which I've already done. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, you would just cl click on SWF and then export it and give it a name. I would definitely save it to your desktop or something that's easy for you to find. And then uh, you can come over to, let's get into Easy Animator Pro. And I've already done an animation here. Let me just show you what I did. I just started from the top. I used the zoom feature with the whirl in. I've got a pause here, uh, actually just none for five seconds. I'm not going to use, in this case, I, I want it to be static. And I've got an out animation. Um, uh, actually, I had one. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. And uh, so this is the animation that I'm getting here. So it's going to whirl in from the top. Uh, it's going to pause five seconds like it is now, and then it's going to whirl out. So we're going to see that whirl in here. There we go. So uh, now I want to export this. I want to choose SWF because Explandio works with SWF files. And uh, so we're going to do export, and I'm going to save it to AAA mobile or something easy to find. I like to do something just that really kind of calls my attention to it. I'm going to delete this eventually anyways. So I'm going to put it on the desktop. I think I've already done that. Yeah, so it's going to save that over that. And then now inside of Explandio. Now um, in Explandio, there's a couple things that we can do. We can have, uh, for example, the animation appear over the background. I want to take a look at that. And also you might want to just have the animation only be what you see, just you know, see nothing else. Or you might want to have some text with it. So let's look at both scenarios. So first I'm going to go ahead and I want to get a background here so that we can see that it's possible to have this over a background. It's, I've just selected, I just went to my library and I found something real quick. It's kind of a mobile, te I mean a, a marble texture. So I'm going to size that up to fill the screen. And now I'm going to add uh, my explain to slide. Now it's important, I don't want to add a new scene because that would make my, uh, my background not show up there. But I want to go ahead, I'm still in the same scene. I'm going to go down here, click on add um, animation slide. And then I'm going to click on this and I'm looking for my AAA mobile. It's right up here at the top. That's why I named it so I could, I could find it easily. I don't want to sketch and I'm just going to add. Now, uh, one, one thing that you can see here is that this is it's hard to see with that background. I could come over to the background, temporarily move it over there. And now I can see how big it is compared to my screen. I can size that up and this isn't centering properly, but it doesn't really matter. This area, everything except for the graphic itself is transparent. So if I wanted to, to have it there, I can, and now I can bring my texture back. And if I do a preview, it's going to show uh, that, you know, right over the texture and all these areas are transparent. And this might be good enough. This might be something that you're wanting to do. Normally, if I was going to be talking and had an outro, I probably would add an animation there in the pause section. But I wanted to use this sort of as a dual purpose animation to talk about the an alternative approach that you might want to do. You might want to have text here. And in that case, I don't want the out animation. And I really just wanted to stay uh, paused while the text can appear immediately. And so in order to, to get something like that, first let's go ahead and get some text on here. And I'm really not going to knock myself out. Let's just get something that will serve for demonstration purposes. And since we have that bold texture, I am going to find a fatter font. I know that I have imported Chunk 5, one of my favorite fonts here, which is available for free on Font Squirrel. And I'm just going to do, you know, join my, in fact, let's do it all bold, um, join, well, I guess it's not letting me, my webinar today. How about that? So something like that. Let's make the font really big. And so I would generally probably have it somewhere like that. I might have to kind of play with it and do a test. But notice as I when I do preview, it's not showing up right away. That's because this animation has to play all the way through. But I don't have to live with that. I can go ahead. Let me. I don't. I, I, this in this scenario, I wouldn't use a text. And so, just to show you, I can come in and just have it fade in over 
you know, half a second or something like that. So um, now uh, if I come back over here, I want to click on the slide with the mobile. And you can see here that I've got it. Uh, it's, it's currently lasting 8.8 .8 seconds. I really don't want all that. I can, what I really want to do is have it stop after it, um, it, it, it get, gets still. And so what I can do is I can take frames off. I'm going, I've gone to the SWF tab. We want to play it for, uh, we, we, we have to figure out how long. So let's look at this. I'm going to make this go really short here. It's 57 frames and it looks like it's pretty solid right there. So now let's see what happens. Now this is going to play and there is still a pause before the text appears. So it looks like I can take off even more. So let's take off, let's be aggressive there. So I've got 34 frames there. So it's about a second and that appears sooner. Looks like I can even do a little bit more. So uh, let's play it one more time and it stops and the text appears. So it's, you, know, you can see how you can play with that and get this to work. Obviously you'd want to you know, probably make this bigger and everything you know, be a little bit cooler in the sense that you might want to have uh, things centered better and everything. But this gives you an idea of how you can get these animations to work with Explain to You. Now, if I wanted to, if I knew I was gonna have text next to it, I could just not have the outro and save myself a little trouble here. But um, it really is, it's very simple to just keep on kind of, you know, clicking on this and getting, and I, you know, looking to see if the animation is uh, pausing. And then you can go ahead and preview and see, oh yeah, okay, that, that is pretty much the end of that uh, animation. And then we can have that text appear right there. So that's how you can, various ways that you can work with Easy Animator Pro and Explaindio to make very cool animations. Um, one of the last tip that I wanna make is, in uh, a lot of times when you're doing video, you really don't need to have too much going on. You you know it, the pause animations are great to kind of gain your attention, just you know keep these things moving and everything, let people know that the video isn't hanging up, that kind of thing. But you know um, rather than have ten graphics or something like that, it's often good to focus on one whenever you can because it makes the, the video much clearer. And in reality, I would normally not have a texture. It's just too much to look at. And I would recommend that you don't have a texture. And this really focuses the eye. It tells people to look exactly here. So if I do a preview, you, you can see that I'm not distracted by all this extra stuff. I'm, I'm really kind of showing people exactly where to look and really not anywhere else. And so um, that's one of the great things about Easy Animator Pro is you can make easy, fun animations without really having too much clutter and too much distraction. You can get your message across in an entertaining way without overdoing it.